The Zoom R24 offers a unique challenge when it comes to setting uh, the recording, the input level for recording. I have a theory that I would like to propose to the site that hopefully will be beneficial. What I have connected is a line level device, a, um, a drum machine that is producing um, a line level signal uh, to the R24. So basically what that means is um, if I connect the drum machine uh, at, with a line level output into the drum machine and turn the drum machine to line, I should be peaking at negative 6 um, dB and that's what I'm doing. So in order to further prove this, I have these two tracks which are armed for record and as I increase the fader up and down, you see that my levels aren't changing. Um, if I turn my master fader up, you will see that as I increase the volume here, the volume increases on my master fader and I can even take it into the red while my track levels stay the same. So what I'm presupposing is that um, when you have the channel set to record, what you're actually seeing here is your input and not necessarily your output. Again, as demonstrated by the fact that whether I turn these faders up or down, these stay consistent, but my master fader will push into the red. So what this tells me is that if I want to set a really good level on the R24, um, I can plug my device into the channels that I want to record. Um, and what I really try to look for, because I want the maximum volume possible so that I don't introduce noise into my mix, is, um, you know, right now I know this is a line level device and if I recorded it here, everything would be fine. But let's push it up a little bit until the peak light comes on. So now I'm getting intermittent peak lights. And to me, that is as much signal as I feel comfortable recording. Now, if I cranked it so that the peak lights were always on, you should hear distortion. And that's definitely not what you want to hear. Even, um, you know, with it kind of set at uh, 12 o'clock, you should hear some distortion. Um, so basically, what I like to do, um, and using, again, this line level as a reference, um, I will, I know that that is in the sweet spot, but what I want to do is just push it a little bit. So when my peak lights start hitting a, just a little bit, I know that that is a maximum signal um, that I can record here cleanly without introducing any distortion. Even if I push um, the channel faders up to 12 and the master fader up to positive 12. So as you could see, I push the master fader and this fader all the way up to 12 without introducing distortion. Whereas if I just went a little bit further, um, you, I shouldn't be able to do that without getting noise. So you could hear the distortion um, as I pushed both the master fader and the channel fader up to negative 12. So by taking this approach, what I've essentially done is maximize the headroom so that I can push um, you know, plus, 20, plus 12 here and plus 12 on the master fader without introducing noise. Um, and that is my approach at setting levels accurately on the 24. I'm um, looking forward to your feedback and your response. I hope this uh, you know, really provides some good uh, discussion. Thanks.